So earlier today I was sitting around thinking about the Final Fantasy franchise, as one does, and I started to think about the Dissidia franchise in particular and how it's unfortunately in this weird kind of limbo space ever since the release of Dissidia NT, which unfortunately was not well received by the Dissidia community. Minus me, I actually really appreciated what they did with NT <laughs> and I liked the 3v3 fighting style and the bigger arenas and the big spectacle summon things. And I'm one of the tens of people that still consistently logs online playing this game hoping that I will come across an actual team of human players that are not computers. But you gotta acknowledge your faults, and Dissidia right now is six feet in the grave. And one of the reasons for that, I think, is because it is an arena-based fighting game, which don't get me wrong, I love me a good arena-based fighting game, but fighting games themselves are already pretty niche, and you add arena-based fighting game into the mix, and that's gonna be even more niche. And you need to find a way to bring in more players and get them invested to keep your game alive. And let's be honest here, everyone who might have had a passing interest in Dissidia has already checked the game out and bounced. They're not coming back. They know what Dissidia is, they know they don't like it, they're not going to come back and play unfortunately. So I got to thinking, how could you reboot the Dissidia fighting game franchise and make it fresh and fun and bring in a larger population of people to actually check this game out? So. I have an idea for rebooting the Final Fantasy fighting game franchise. We start first by dropping the name Dissidia. <laughs> Look, Dissidia, it sounds cool, it sounds provocative, it gets the people going, but what does it actually mean? If I look at the title of your game and I gotta go to Google to figure out the definition of it, we're not starting off on the right foot here. So drop the Dissidia, just keep it Final Fantasy. Second, I would change the type of game that it is, so we no longer are doing the arena-based fighting games, which RIP to them, they are fun, but you've had three Dissidia games, the first one was the one that did the best, and then they just kind of went down from there. You can argue that the second one didn't do as well because of piracy, but that's neither here nor there. So what we do is we turn it into a 2v2 or preferably a 3v3 style fighting game in the vein of Marvel vs. Capcom, Power Rangers Battle for the Grid, and even what Riot is doing with their League of Legends fighting game. So you have a game where it's 3v3, you've got assist mechanics, you can swap your characters in and out on the fly, do tag attacks, combo assists, all this really beautiful stuff. You could even have three representatives from each respective Final Fantasy game be a part of the roster. So maybe two heroes and a villain with DLC coming later. Now here's the real catch. It's not just a straightforward Final Fantasy fighting game. Square Enix, if you're out there listening, you can have this idea for free. <laughs> make a partnership with Capcom and have them develop it and we call it Final Fantasy versus Capcom. It writes itself, it prints its own money. <laughs> Come on, this would be dope. You're telling me that a game with Final Fantasy characters and Capcom characters wouldn't be awesome or do really well? Imagine, you know, having Cloud on your team with Jill Valentine and a tyrant. That in and of itself is badass or a villain's team of Sephiroth with Kefka and Wesker. That is a dream come true. And I pick that style of game in particular because they are fun to play. And the thing about those 3v3 games is that they're easy to pick up and learn, but they're really hard to master, but they're pretty much accessible for anybody who's into fighting games. Whether you have a low skill ceiling or a high skill ceiling, you can play a game like Marvel vs. Capcom or Battle for the Grid and really have fun and enjoy yourself and come up with these really cool, unique teams. And the Final Fantasy characters are just built for this type of battle system. Getting a character like Tifa in there who's a brawler just makes sense. Again, hashtag Tifa for Tekken. Harada, you a-hole. Just do it. A character like Zell from Final Fantasy VIII, another brawler. He just fits perfectly into the world of Final Fantasy. And in combination with that really historic, legendary cast of Capcom characters from Resident Evil to Devil May Cry to Mega Man to even people like Captain Commando, <laughs> who was really cool, or characters from Darkstalkers, the possibilities are really endless here. And as far as the last feature, a story mode. Now look, not every fighting game that comes 
comes out has to have a story mode, because let's be honest here, not every fighting game developer has the pedigree to make a cinematic story like a NetherRealm fighting game. We all saw what happened when Capcom tried to do a story mode for Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. It was interesting, but it was a mess. And this is where Square Enix could step in. Square Enix is known for having some really great cinematics, and the writing in some of their most recent games, Seven Remake in particular, are actually pretty good. So if you could have Square Enix just kind of step in and create this really cool, extravagant, epic story mode, it could potentially work. I'll be honest, I want to see a scene where Leon is having a conversation with Squall, or Tifa is teaming up with Jill and they're beating up bad guys, or Sephiroth and Wesker are comparing hair care routines. Does Wesker use a full bottle of shampoo and conditioner like Sephiroth does? I don't know, but these are answers we need here, people. And look, as cool as the story mode would be, you don't always need it. You could do a simple arcade mode if you want. <laughs> if you can't do something on the level of a NetherRealm Studios, then maybe you shouldn't try and make a fool out of yourself. But that is pretty much the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Are you a Dissidia fan? Were you disappointed with NT like a lot of other people were? What do you want to see Square Enix do next with the Final Fantasy fighting game franchise? Leave those in the comments down below. I will see you guys in the next video. Please remember to always be excellent to one another.